Hey y'all, today we are doing a clothing haul with ASRV. Where to start? Okay, little story time. I have probably looked at the ASRV website four times in the past three years. I get ads for them all the time, and every time I'm always like, yeah, that's pretty compelling, let me take a look. And then I go to a pair of shorts, like their best seller, and they are $118, and I say, absolutely not. I will not spend that much money on a pair of shorts. So that is the dead end. I have something in my cart, but never sees the light of day, right? I don't know how this business is viable with their price point being so high. Don't get me wrong, I think that some of the clothes are really cool. ASRV stands for All Season Recreation Versatility, which I don't get, but they do talk about their clothes being elevated streetwear and also being good for the gym and created by athletes. I don't know, I don't, it's a little confusing if this is supposed to be just that, streetwear, or if it's supposed to be for the gym because I don't see those two clothes as being the same. But alas, that is what ASRV is. Someone's gonna have to explain the title to me because like that doesn't make any sense. But I did get a bunch of their clothes. I'm gonna try them on for you. I'm gonna let you know what I think. Let's hop right into it. So I thought we would start off with their hybrid jogger because this was actually my favorite piece in my entire order. It is super classic, but really, really well made. This jogger fit pretty tight. I got a size small and they really hug my legs. I honestly could probably go up to a medium, which is weird because for a jogger, that is almost never the case for me. The material is super great, the quality is super great, and at $118, that is very standard across the board for a jogger, for a high-end jogger. So I could definitely see this piece being a staple in my wardrobe, whereas a lot of the pieces that we're gonna talk about, I was more confused by. Speaking of being confused, the cargo high rib jogger was odd to me. I think this is kind of what I was talking about in the beginning. I can't get a vibe of if this is specifically for streetwear or if people are actually wearing this to the gym. I think for streetwear, it's very cool. Obviously not really my style, but I wanted to get these because they are probably one of their most popular items. And I was surprised when I tried them on. They're very comfortable, I liked them. I think that the bottoms of the pants are a little weird because they have that elastic material at the bottom and it goes up pretty high on the calf. So again, that was just like a little weird for me. It felt like maybe they were like, kind of like a dance pant, which is really cool, but it's not a, gym pants. So again, I'm just getting kind of like mixed messages on what their clothing is necessarily for. And the other thing that I'll say is that this sizing is just a little off. They only have sizes extra small to extra large. And generally for a company, we're looking to have a little bit more inclusive sizing than that. And these fit size small, but the last joggers that I tried on were a little small and I could go up a size. So just something to consider. Okay, so we are into shorts territory and these are the five inch ultralight high split shorts. And let me tell you, when they say it's a high split, it is a high split. I don't know why they did this. I, you know, some runners will want a high split. It's not in, it's not particularly comfortable. It's just like really showing off the leg, which I mean, I'm all for, right? But five inches is already showing it off quite a bit. So I, I didn't really understand. It kind of felt like I was wearing a skort. <laughs> I really liked the design of them. You can tell that they are incredibly well-made. I can't say that any of their products aren't well-made. They really, everything I tried on was super high quality. I just didn't quite understand. So, especially at $108, these shorts were not for me. The Ultralight Pro 5-inch shorts are perhaps the most expensive shorts I've ever tried on. I don't know why they are $118, but these are the shorts that I put into my cart probably like four times and then just forgotten about because I'm like, I'm not spending that much money on shorts. I'm not spending that much money on shorts. Like a hard cap at like $60. So I should be able to get two pairs of shorts for this one pair. And it's not like they have like sales or anything, right? They're not that kind of company. So I don't quite understand. The other thing that I would say is that the built-in liner here is supposed to be kind of part of the style. And I think we're kind of over that. The whole idea of like showing your Under Armour and like showing your compression shorts, I don't think it's that good of a look. And the liner was also incredibly tight. So the hips were right for me, but the liner, I could barely get them over my thighs. So I just didn't love this. I also like the liner is so pristine white and I'm like, 
if I wear these like twice, is it gonna look like garbage? Like it's just gonna be gross. Like even after washing them, obviously, I cannot imagine spending $118 on shorts, but these I believe are their most popular item. And as you can see right now, they're sold out. Luckily, I got a pair that I could try them out. But yeah, they are sold out. Just weird, just weird. Going into the Nano Mesh Quarter Zip. I actually really liked this piece of clothing. I thought it fit really well. I thought it looked really nice. At $98, it is a little bit on the high end there, but I mean, maybe you want a $98 sweatshirt. It does look nice. It is well made. There seems to be a theme here. Huh? The other thing that I'll say is that the arms have enough fabric for people with biceps three times the size of mine. Like, I'm like flexing as hard as I possibly can and you could still fit three of my biceps into the arms and I'm like, who is wearing these clothes? <laughs> Are these like exclusively for Arnold Schwarzenegger and The Rock? Because otherwise, a size small, someone with that size arms, like I wanna see who that is. I, <laughs> it's not me. It's definitely not me. <laughs> you know, I kind of wish I had more of an opinion on the established long sleeve. I've tried a lot of long sleeve workout shirts on and they're made out of that standard material, but I was kind of hoping for a little bit of a higher end material for ASRV's long sleeve t-shirts. I'll also say that I got a size small. I probably could have sized up because it felt very, very tight in my armpits. And that's generally how I can tell um, how the shirts are sized. So. A little odd that the nano mesh that was a size small, the, the, the quarter zip, that that felt fine in a size small, but this one felt a little too small. Something to keep in mind. Okay, you all know that I love tank tops, so I was really excited about the Cotton Plus Muscle Tank. That being said, I did find the words across the front of it pretty funny. Relentless pursuit. Just in case we forgot, that's what we're doing at the gym. We're relentlessly pursuing our goals. And I get it. I know these companies feel like they have to like, spice up their clothes a little bit, but it's like word art in a home. I'm like, live, laugh, love, and it means nothing. Same with like it being on your t-shirt. It's not very big, so it's fine, but I, it always makes me laugh. I just, I just don't really get it, right? One good thing about this shirt is that it is made out of 94% cotton and 6% spandex, so it's not as bad as 100% cotton, but I really don't understand why they did this like super cotton blend when there are tons of other tank top materials that are way better for sweating in. They say that their products are athlete made, but you know, even in this blend, I wouldn't really feel comfortable sweating at the gym just because that shirt would get so, so, so heavy. The other thing is that this cut of the shirt is like a classic cutoff that I made in high school. You know, like you take a t-shirt, you cut with the scissors, you're like, okay, that's it. And that was basically what this shirt was. And I was like, oh, $58 for that, that is too much. And then lastly, we have the Cotton Plus tank top. Again, they did this weird cotton blend, the 94%, 6% spandex. If you really were using this for the gym, that is not the correct breakdown. I'm just gonna say it right now. I don't know why they would do this cottony breakdown, but they did. And the other thing about this one that I really just can't get behind is this swoop front, right? They make it really long and swoop at the front. I think this is that streetwear style, but for the gym, I just don't get it. It's like, oh, it's so not bro -y enough if your shirt is not long enough. And you're like, I, I don't know, maybe just clothes that fit. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's definitely not my style. And again, for $58, I just don't get it. I don't really understand. I, I'm not trying to like trash on them, even though this really does seem like I am, but I can't understand how this company that is extremely overpriced is still able to stay in business when their vision just seems very unclear. They're like, we want to make a streetwear clothes company that like you could potentially 10% of the time wear to the gym in certain circumstances and people wouldn't think it was weird. It's not a fitness clothing company. It's a streetwear company. And for streetwear, I think it looks so good. It's like such a cool and specific style. For fitness clothing, it's not functional at all. No, that's that's all. It's just, it's not functional. The, the fabrics are not functional. The styles are not functional. I am getting off my soapbox, but that, those are my feelings. <laughs> Couple more things. In my research of ASRV, I found that the company could absolutely do a little bit better with their inclusive sizing, as we talked about. Uh, I want to see sizes bigger than XL and I want them to have more in stock for extra small and maybe XX small. One of the good things that I can say is that they definitely are trying to make clothes that are going to last. And with so much fast fashion around really, really harming the environment, I love that. I love the idea of 
spending a little bit more on clothes and not having to replace it all the time. And maybe that is what the title is about, the all seasons recreational versatility. You're like, oh, we don't have to buy a new jogger each month. And I think that that is really lovely. So that is the glass half full perspective of ASRV. But I do think that that's an important part of it. And I think that that is one of their goals which I think is really lovely. And that is it for our clothing haul review of ASRV. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment below with what brand you would like me to do a clothing haul with next. And I'll see you next time.